Hi guys, my name is Shubhang Garodia, Chemistry Master Teacher at Vedantu. Today we are going to talk about J Advanced 2020 Paper 2 and we are going to discuss question number 9. Now this question is a multi-correct type question and the question is about aluminum extraction from bauxite. Pretty standard stuff. This. So they are talking about four parts. Hydrated Al2O3 precipitates from CO when CO2 is bubbled. That is, we are talking about Bayer's process in the option 1. Sorry. We are talking about Bayer's process in option 1. Addition of Na3LF6 lowers the melting point. So, this we are talking about Hall's process. And the next one, CO2 is evolved at anode. The same thing, Hall's process. <coughs> and last one, Abhi cathode is a steel vessel with a lining of carbon. So, this also is talking about your process itself. So, let us discuss these processes in slight detail. Now, if we talk about Bayer's process, Bayer's process is applicable to what? Bayer's process is applicable to white uh, bauxite. Sorry, Bayer's process is applicable to red bauxite and let us discuss the process a bit. So, red bauxite mein we have Al2O3 with impurities of Fe2O3 and TiO2, right? These are your basic oxides. And this is an amphoteric oxide. So, what do we do? We dissolve it in NaOH solution. Now, NaOH solution may NaLO2 being amphoteric dissolves forming NaAlO2. And the rest uh, basic impurity will remain undissolved. That is FeO and TiO2. So, what do we do? We then take NaAlO2 and then we acidify the solution and we add small bit of AlOH thrice as a seeding agent and we then see ALOH thrice precipitating away that is hydrated alumina okay this is then heated uh, separated dried heated that is ignited at high temperature to get pure alumina correct now what do we do ahead with this pure alumina we take this pure alumina we add Na3ALF6 and CAF2, cryolite and fluorospar and we make it undergo electrolysis, molten form may. So, what is the purpose of adding these two? The purpose of adding these two is lowering down the melting point and increasing the conductivity of the system. Okay. Now, when these reactions occur, what is happening? Cathode pay, we have Al3 plus getting reduced into aluminum and anode pay, what actually happens? Anode pay <clears throat> anode pay what happens guys anode pay we have oxygen converting into we have oxide ion converting into oxygen now remember these anodes are made of graphite and therefore O2 reacts with this graphite forming CO2 at the anode okay so let's go back to our question hydrated alumina precipitates when CO2 is bubbled through a solution of sodium aluminate perfect correct Addition of this lowers the melting point, correct. CO2 is evolved at the anode during electrolysis, correct. And we know that in this process, the cathode is made of uh, steel with lined with carbon. That's a fact. So, this is also correct. Hence, guys, uh, the all the options here are indeed correct. We also have the written solution here for you, the type solution here for you in case you want to refer it. And thank you so much and stay tuned.